What is going on gamers? Today we're going to discuss the Prison of Elders reveal. Now I don't know about you guys, but this was certainly my least favorite of the reveals for House of Wolves. If you missed it, be glad you didn't waste your time. It took forever and it was pretty boring. The gameplay took over an hour and a half and there wasn't a lot of information disclosed. However, there were a couple of important details that did come up, so let's move on to those. The Prison of Elders is an in-game three-player event that offers four different levels for you to play. The first level is the base level, and it's going to be played at level 28. The other three levels consist of challenge modes that are playable at level 32, 34, and 35. Now there's a total of six challenge modes, each of which is different. The level 35 challenge mode will always be the same and it's going to be offered every week. The other two challenge modes available in a given week will rotate between five different challenges. Obviously the level 35 challenge is going to be very difficult since the max level for the House of Wolves is 34. The base level is going to have matchmaking so you don't have to have a fire team going in to complete it. It will have randomized modifiers and bosses so you're not going to know what to expect going in. Now you can run the base level an infinite number of times during the week and the way they described it, it reminds me a lot of the strike playlist. The challenge modes do not have matchmaking so you will have to assemble your own fire team. You can complete each of the challenge modes for a given week However, there are no checkpoints, so they must be completed in a single sitting. During the live stream, they played the level 34 challenge mode, and each of the people in the fire team were at level 34. It featured five rounds, but the team was unable to complete it within an hour and a half, and they just gave up. The Twitch stream featured only rounds fighting against Cabal and Hive, but there are also Fallen and Vex areas in the Prison of Elders. The first round they just had to fight off different waves of hive enemies, but in the second round their objective was to prevent mines from exploding by capturing a zone beneath it while fighting off Cabal, and they captured the zones just like you do in Control. The next round focused on killing VIPs similar to what you see in certain community events, and in the fourth round they had to prevent mine explosions while fighting off Hive. There are some cool new additions coming in the Prison of Elders. Now, After the second of three waves in a given round, a gift will appear. Once during the live stream it was heavy ammo that everyone got, but a lot of times it was a Scorch Cannon which is new to Destiny. One player can pick up the Scorch Cannon and it basically acts as a souped up rocket launcher. It has a finite number of rounds but they don't affect your heavy ammo. Also there's a different modifier for each round. Now the modifiers are a mixture of new modifiers and old favorites that you see in the Nightfalls. Uh, some of the new modifiers include Small Arms which provides a buff to primary weapons, Brawler which does extra melee damage, and there's also one that increases Guardian Shields but it makes your shields unable to regenerate. As I said, after an hour and a half, they weren't able to complete the Prison of Elders challenge. So we don't know what happens when you complete it. We don't know what kind of loot you're going to get for completing it. Uh, it was very anticlimactic, and I'm a little bit disappointed with how it was handled. So there's a lot of questions we still have, and hopefully they'll give us more information in the weekly update. For those of you who did watch the live stream on Twitch today, what did you guys think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was boring? Let me know in the comments. That's all I got for you today, gamers. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my page. Until next time, I'll see you later.